A TikTok star is getting a lot more attention from some new followers, law enforcement. The 20-year-old known as Mr. Prada Online has been arrested, accused of killing a therapist in another state. Could this be connected to allegations of misconduct against that counselor? We're digging into the large-scale investigation and how something like this could happen with a licensed clinical social worker and trauma expert. Welcome to Sidebar. So this is a photo that I took this morning, which is October 5th, 2024. I went to Cityscape at Essence, which is the apartment complex where the 69-year-old male Dr. William Nicholas was found in Topanga Parish. But from investigations and from reports, um, he lost his life here at this building, at this doorstep. Now, the reason why I know where this doorstep is, is because I did go to the apartment complex and I began looking for anything that might look like it might be a crime scene. And I saw a male who was walking his dog who actually told me this is where the location happened building for stay tuned welcome and thanks for joining this is wj nelson reporting live from cityscape apartment complex this is the location where defendant terion thomas is being accused of murdering a therapist named williams nicholas abram uh, this took place about two days ago in baton Rouge, louisiana um, there's so much information coming out about this right now, and a lot of it has been proven to be false. It has been reports that Terion Thomas was being counseled, counseled by Williams, and that is incorrect. Uh, Williams was a therapist, but uh, Williams' l lawyer reported that he was not um, Terion's therapist. Um, there was reports that he did meet Terion on an app called Grinder, we're going to investigate this, find out if they truly met on Grinder. We're going to ask the administration here if we could walk the property, see if we could actually see the location where this took place. Now, from reports, it is being mentioned that he drove 45 minutes to a different parish and he had to pass, allegedly, this hospital, Lady of the Lake. So there was professionals close by that could have rendered aid to this gentleman, this therapist, Mr. Williams Nicholas, um, AKA Nick, Dr. Williams. Um, so uh, whoever did commit this because uh, Terion Thomas is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, we're gonna be there every step of the way. Right now he's currently being held in the West Tower at Dallas County Jail, okay? Um, his booking number is 2404887, and he was booked in on October 1st at 627 p.m. Now, it's not known if he's been extradited to Baton Rouge yet, but we will get that information later today and keep you guys updated with that information. So we're gonna dive deep into this. Let's discuss the hard facts before we go. So it was reported by Law and Crime Network that this incident took place in Dallas. That was incorrect. That was reported last night. Um, it has been confirmed that this actually took place in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, at this location right here, Cityscape at Essence. It's approximately two miles from Lady of the Lake Regional Medical Facility. This is where it took place. Um, there's been reports that some of his neighbors, some tenants that actually live here at the Cityscape Apartments, actually seen him struggling with a tarp that presumed to be wrapped in the body. The body of um, Dr. Williams is, he was found in the tarp and his neighbors here, uh, Terion Thomas neighbors has reported to be RPD that they saw him dragging out a blue tarp and he was struggling with it. 
So we're going to dive deep, stay with us. We're going to uncover a little bit, see if we could talk to somebody, see if we could find out a little more information and just discover the hard facts. Did they meet that night or were they in a relationship? Um, it was also reported that Dr. Williams, Nicholas, was arrested in 2015 for inappropriately touching a minor that he was rendering services to as a therapist. That was very disturbing when we came across that information. That information is what made us want to come out here, find out exactly what's going on, because we want to know if Dr. Williams was seeing Terry on Thomas or why did he come here to visit him? Um, there were some very disturbing TikTok posts from Terry on Thomas where he was apparently saying that he was preparing to do something like this from his own words. So we're going to dive deep, deep. Thank you for joining. Once again, this is WJ Nelson, a.k.a. F-A-C-E, feet on the ground, ears to the street. Okay, now, this is the entrance of Cityscape at Essence. I did walk in to the property, show my press pass. Uh, I was able to speak to some residents there. So on this next clip, you're going to hear a very short snippet of one of the residents, one of his neighbors, who described what it was like living around him and what Mr. Thomas, Terry on Thomas, what his character was like and what he's seen from him. Stay tuned. I used to see him. Most of the time, he was kind of standoffish. Yeah, he was kind of standoffish, mostly to himself. Okay. How long um, did you notice him living here? Like, what was the um, time frame? Well, he was here before we got here, so I guess I'll say, because we've been staying about at least five months now, so he's probably a little bit over there. A little over five months? Yeah. Okay. And you said you never saw him driving. He was always on foot? Yeah, he was always on foot when I saw him. Okay. Anything you want to say about his character or what you might have seen just from observing him? Oh, I don't really know too much about his character. Only thing I could tell, like, he was, like, the person is to himself. To himself. As far as, far as I can see. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for that information. I mean, we're just trying to figure out if he actually knew the guy or if they just met on that you know, dating app. So mm. we just want to talk to a few people here and get some firsthand information, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. Because I've never seen a dude before, but um, like I say, I ain't going to say he probably walked to him or whatever. You never saw the therapist, but you saw him before? Yeah, I saw him. He stayed. I ain't never seen the therapist. Okay. Yeah, where's the, his name is Ty, uh, Teron Thomas. Teron and Thomas. the therapist's name is Dr. Williams. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was reported that the therapist actually was arrested in 2015 for sexually assaulting a minor. Oh. A male. So that's why we're trying to dig and figure out if he was dating this guy or if he knew him uh, for a long period of time, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, like I said, I don't really know too much about him. Okay. I just know what I've seen when I've seen him. Well, okay. Well, thanks a lot. And once again, this is Willie from German Daily News. All right. No problem, man. Have a good one, sir. You too.